So, you want to know how to be a Yandere, huh? You think you really have what it takes? Do you? Guys, I'm going to teach you today how to be a true Yandere. Now, I really had to open up the vault on this one because, you know, not no normally people wouldn't teach you this kind of stuff because, you know what? Only crazy people are Yanderes. So you've come to the right place! We are back with WikiHow, guys. And uh, obviously, yeah, we're gonna become a Yandere today. If you guys don't know and you've always wanted to know, obviously you clicked this video, so surely you wanted to know how to be a true Yandere. I would like to give a special thanks to Smart Jelly AJ. That's a really awesome name. He or she is the one who actually suggested me playing these. So thank you so much. Guys, if you have more suggestions, leave them in the comments or send me a message, find me on Twitter. You guys know the drill. Number one is choose someone who you wish to obsess over, AKA find your senpai. It could be a friend who you stay a little too close to or a crush who doesn't mind if you're being a little too little too possessive because you know what, who, who doesn't mind that? And by the way, before we really dive more into this, I think they're being serious because the title is How to Act Yandere Without Being Weird. So yeah, this is like how you really become a Yandere without being weird so you're still accepted by, you know, civilization and, you know, everyone else. Here's why I think it's real. Make sure that the recipient of your affections is okay with it. You don't want them to make to make them too uncomfortable or it may stain your relationship. Okay, so you might not want to tell your your senpai that you you want to wear their face. Because if you tell them that, it's going to strain your relationship. What is okay. That's the whole beauty of being a young today, right? You can't you have to tell your senpai, hey, I wanna wear your face. I just want to wear your skin. <laughs> Develop specific smiles for different situations. How, how do you even do that? <laughs> if you get what you want, use your little happy smile. <laughs> this is crazy. I think this article, article is freaking crazy. If you don't get what you want, do a little creepy smirk. Like this? Is this working? Am I gonna get what I want? Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. I'm sorry, that probably made you unsubscribe. <laughs> if something went really wrong, give a huge smile. Like you're going to hurt someone, but don't actually hurt anyone. <laughs> so you may have thoughts of killing people and, and really hurting someone, but don't actually do it, okay? Because you're gonna strain your relationship. I'm not angry. Stick very close to the person you choose and say something flattering yet creepy things. So you know what? You could have just been a normal girl that someone might find attractive and very interesting and adorable, but you gotta put the creepiness in there if you're going to be a true yandere. For example, say things like, I like you so much that I'll watch you forever. You're so important that I wouldn't let anyone else get close to you. <laughs> I dare them. You know, just stuff like that, you know? Look at him, he's like, oh my god, dear god, who is this girl? She's the one that freaking keeps watching me in the shower. Number four, when your person is not around, you can talk about him or her to your other friends. Oh, you can. That's actually quite surprising. Try not to make them jealous. Just let them know not to get too close to him or her. <laughs> so you can be like out having tea with your best friend as, they, as they're doing on the picture. Hey, how's it going, Sharla? I don't know why her name's Sharla. That's a, that's a very nice tie you got on, but you know what? If you touch my senpai, I'll kill you. That escalated quickly. <laughs> What kind of what kind of tea is that that you're drinking? Is it, is it don't touch my senpai tea? That's my favorite. Cause if you touch my senpai, I'll throw you off the Grand Canyon. Okay, guys, I think we're starting to really truly understand the essence of a yandere, and I think we're getting it down, guys. I think we are. Number five, adopt the gestures and mannerisms of your favorite yandere characters. Example, like you know, yandere chan from Yandere Simulator. You guys all know that for me, of course, and of course many others, not just me. I don't mean to sound conceited here. For example, a lot of Yandere girls put their hands on their face when talking to their person. Their person. <laughs> Practice this in the mirror and see if you look good doing it. <laughs> Come on guys, let's go to the mirror and see if we look good doing it. Senpai. Do I look sexy? Huh? Do you think Senpai's gonna like this? Oh, that's it. That's the money shot right there. <laughs> Okay, so I think we got step five down pretty darn good. So number six is you got to dress the part. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to dress the part, to be honest. But you know what? I can at least act the part. Most Yandere girls dress innocently. Skirts, bows, calm colors, in order to not give away that they're Yandere until you get to know them. Well, I mean, come on. I'm not... Does it say Yandere? I don't think it does. You know, it's pretty calm, right? What's wrong with red? She's wearing red, see? Psycho fee? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it, it did not mention you need to drink your own special crazy coffee. I drink coffee, but I guess apparently I'm not drinking the right one, so I'm doing something wrong, guys. And number seven, we have to practice your laugh. Practice our laugh. A cute but creepy laugh is good. Perfect. Just try to sound your own age when laughing. Don't. That's the number one key, guys. You have to remember. Don't sound like you're not your age. You know, that's the one thing that people uh, don't understand when they're trying to be a yandere. So do not try to sound like a 10-year-old if you're 17. Okay, guys? There's a huge difference. So if I were to do this realistically, I need to go like... Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. I'm having trouble. I'm really having trouble doing this. <laughs> oh god, the next door neighbors are like, what is that psycho doing in there? <laughs> see? I'm passing the test already! Don't worry, guys! Look at the cat, though. You see the cat? Do you guys see that? She's like, I'm used to this. But, you know, I'm, I'm not really getting the whole cute part down. I don't know if I'm doing it right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So now you know guys, you know the seven top steps how to be a yandere without being weird. Now remember, none of this stuff's weird, okay? Alright, so when people say it's weird, they're lying. They're just straight out liars. You need to show them this article because it's not being weird. And okay, before you go, here's some pro tips guys. Warn your person that you'll, you'll be spending more time with them. You have to warn them. Hey, I'm gonna be with you all the time even when you don't know it. So warn them guys, because you don't want to be weird. Don't act this way during class or when teachers are talking to you. What? Don't do it while they're talking to you. You know, you can do it next to them or whatever, but if they're talking to you, don't be weird, okay? You don't want to freak people out. You don't want to look weird. Don't go too far. If someone tells you to stop, then it's time to stop, okay? Okay? You know, when when you're trying to wear someone's face, they say stop. That's, that's the line right there. That's the safe word. You stop. Don't threaten to kill someone ever. Don't, guys, okay? This is the joke. This is literally a joke. This is serious Michael here. The joke. Don't act yandere during roleplay unless you let your parents know first. <laughs> what? <laughs> How awkward. Imagine going up to your parents who are like, like, you know, 50 something. They're not even from like, they're like, they think you're weird already. And they're like, hey, I'm going to be yandere. What the heck's yandere? I knew I didn't raise my boy right. <laughs> I just picture telling my grandpa this. Hey, grandpa, I'm <laughs> trying to be, I'm trying to be yandere here. What in God's name is he doing? <laughs> so remember, kids, let your parents know first. So remember guys, when someone calls you weird for being a yandere, say it's not weird, okay? I'm a yandere and you need to accept it. Alright guys, because that's totally real life, that's how real life works, men love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this wiki how article. If you guys would like to see more, please do leave more recommendations in the comment section and also leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if this is the first thing you've ever seen from me. I promise guys, I'm not really crazy, I'm just joking. I am BG Mike and I will see you scrubs in the next video. Bye guys!